Hi everyone, it's me, Z the Forklift Truck, and today we're going to read Always oh, Say Can You Say by Dr. Seuss. Said a book reading parrot named Huey. The words in this, in this book are all fooey. When you say them, your lips will make slips and back flips, and your tongue may end up in St. Louis. Fresh, fresh, or freshest? Do you like fresh fish? It's just fine. And at Finney's Diner, Finney also has some fresher fish. That's fresher and much finer. But his best fish is his freshest fish. And Finney says with pride, hey, The finest fish at Finney's, Finney's is my, my freshest fish, French fry. So, don't order the fish. So, don't order the fresh or the fresher fish. My bad. At Finney's, if you're wise, you'll say, fetch me the finest French fry. Freshest fish at Finney fries. Den Shin. We have a dinosaur named Din. Din's thin. Din doesn't have much skin. And the and then and the bones fall out of his of his left front shin. Of his his left front shin. Then we have to call in Pinner Blinn. Who comes with his handy shin pin bin and with and with a thin blend shin bone pin blend pins dense shin din shin and bones right back in bed spreader bread spreader bed spreaders spreads and spreads on beds Bread spreaders spread butters on breads. And that bed spreader, or better watch out how he's spreading. Or that bed, or that bread spreader sure going to butter his bedding, my bad. Eight cakes, great cakes. As he gobbled the cakes on his plate. The greedy ape said as he, he ate, the greener, the greener green grapes are the keener keen. Apes are to gobble oh, green great cakes. My bad. They're great. Ha! Huh? Are you having trouble in saying this stuff? It's really quite easy for me. I just look in my mirror and we see what I say. And then I just say what I see. Now let's talk about money. You should leave your Grox home when you travel by air. If you take him along, they charge double the fare. And your grocks must be packed. And your grocks must be packed. And locked up in the grocks box. Which costs much, much more. Then, then a little old fox box. So it, so it's heaps a lot cheaper. To fly with your foxes.
then waste all then waste all that money on boxes or groxes and what would and what do you think costs more a simple thimble orish or a single shingle a simple a thimble a simple thimble could cost less than the shing than the single shingle I guess I guess so I think that the single shingle could cost more than the simple thimble would eat at skipper zips if you like to eat potato chips and chew pork chops on clipper ships I just I suggest that you chew a few I suggest that you chew a few chips in the chop at skipper zips clipper ship chip chop shot And if, and, and if your tongue is getting queasy, don't give up. The next one's easy. The Fun Nuddlers. The Fun Nuddlers. There are so many things that you really should know, and that's why I'm bothering telling you so. You should know the first names of the Fudnuddler brothers who like to pile each on the heads of the others. If you start at the top, there are Bipper and Bud and Skipper and Jipper and Jeffrey and Judd Horatio Horace and Hendrix and Hud. And then come Din Woody and Dinty and Dud. Also Fitzsimmon and, and Frederick and Fud. And Slinky and Stinky and, and Stored and Stud. And down at the bottom is poor little Lud. But if Lud, but if Lud ever sneezes, his name will be Mud. Quack quack, quack quack, quack quack, quack quack. We have two ducks, one blue, one black. And when our blue duck goes quack quack, our our black duck. Our black duck quickly quack quacks back. The quacks blue quacks make her. There. The quacks, blue quacks, make her, her quite a quacker. But black is a quicker. Her quacker backer. And speaking of, of quacks, reminds me of, of cracks and stacks and, and sacks and shacks and snacks. So, 
Oh, say, can you say? I have cracks in my shack. I have smoke in my stack. And I think there's the a snack in the, the sack on my back. West beast, east beast. Upon an island, and hard to reach, the east beast sits upon his beach. Upon the west beach sits the west beast. Each beach beast thinks he is the best. Beast. Which is which beast is best? Well, I thought at first that the, that the east was best and the west was worst. Then I looked again from the west to the east, and now I liked the beast on the the east beach least. Pete packs pigs. Pete Briggs packs pigs. Briggs packs pink pigs. Briggs packs big pigs. Don't ask me why, it doesn't matter. Pete Briggs is a pink pig, big pig. Pink pig, big pig patter. Pete Briggs pats his, pats his big pink pigs all day. Don't ask me, I cannot say. Then Pete puts his, his padded pigs away. In his, his Pete Briggs pink pigs, big pigs pig pen. Fritz food, Fred food. Fritz needs, needs Fred, and, and Fred needs Fritz. Fritz feeds Fred, and Fred feeds Fritz. Fred feeds Fritz with Ritzy Fred food. Fritz feeds Fred with, with Ritzy Fritz food. And Fritz, when fed, has often said, I'm a Fred fed Fritz. Fred's a Fritz fed Fred. How to tell a clots from a glots. Well, the glots, as you will notice, has Lots of black spots. The clots is quite different with lots of black, black dots. But the big problem is that the spots on a glots are about the same size as the dots on a clots. So, so you first have to spot who, who the one with the dots is. Then it's easy to tell who the who the clots or the glots is. What would you rather be when you grow up? A cap, a cop in a cop's cap, or a cupcake cook in a cupcake cook's cap, or a fat flat have Jack Flapper, a flat flapped Jack Cat, or, 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 if you think you don't like cops cats, flap at Jack Flappers, or Cupcake Hick Cooks Cats, maybe you're one of those choosy chaps who likes Cookie Captain's Cat 
It's perhaps. More about Blynn. Well, when Blynn comes home tired from his work pinning shins, the happiest hour of all of Blynn's day begins. Mr. Blynn is the father of musical twins who tucking twin instruments under twin chins. Lol, their daddy to sleep. Twin Blin violins. And oh say can you say far away in, in Berlin. A musical urchin named Gretchen von Schwinn has the blue-footed, true-footed, trick-fingered, slick-fingered, six-fingered, six-string, tin Schwinn, Mandolin. Rope soap hoop soap. If you hope to wash soap off a rope, simply scrub it with scrope. Scrope is so strong that no rope is too long. But if you should wish to watch soap off a hoop, as I suggest that it's, it's best to let your whole silly soaked duck hoop soak in soapy Cooper's Super. Cooper's Super soap off hoops soak suds. Merry Christmas Mush One year we had a Christmas brunch with Merry Christmas Mush Mush, mush to munch But I don't think you'd care for her such We didn't like to munch mush much Speaking of Christmas, and speaking of Christmas, here are some great gifts to give to your daddy. If your daddy's name is Jim, and if Jim swims, and if Jim's slim, the perfect Christmas gift for him is a set of swim Jim swim fins. But if your daddy's name is Dwight, and he likes to look at birds at night. The gift for Dwight that might be right is, is a bright white bird flight night sight light. But never give your daddy a wireless. A wireless with whiskers is not a good pet. And a wireless which whispers is worse even yet. When a wireless lisps, whispers through though rough wet whiskers, your poor daddy's ear will get whispers and whiskers. And that's all, and that's almost enough for su- And that's almost enough of, of of such stuff and for one day, one more and you're finished. One more and you're finished. Oh, say, can you say? The storm starts when the drops start dropping. When the drops stop dropping, then the storm starts stopping. The end.